All right, been trying out different skills this time. Um, dominating blow, it's another low heist. It's low level main skill, but it has the same tooltip DPS as some other stuff, so whatever. And it seems to work well enough in contracts, so I'm trying it uh, in a blueprint. Mainly just to be earning per second, you know, if that makes any sense. It's like DPS, CPS, chaos per second. Also, I got a bunch of gems and uh, off swap. Because of that uh, awakened ancestor, ancestral call, I can basically just right click on mobs and once and keep moving and produce some stuff usually. It's a nice trinket. Replica heat shiver is 20C. Quant. T3. Yeah. Ooh. Oh wow. Because of my because of the resist rolls, it's 110 minimum. Up to a divine. That's awesome. Well. Paid for that. Nice to get that finally, you know. Some kind of unusual gem level. What are you doing, baby? Why are you screaming? You need attention. Come here. Yeah, hi there. What are you doing? You covered with fire. You covered with fire. I can open all the gem boxes. I have the Novendiri and I have uh, Arst and Nanette, both of whom reduce alert usage.
<laughs> nice. I'm pretty safe. I mean, of course, as soon as I say that, I'm going to get one shot, but which is totally possible and has happened in contracts at this level. Especially if I just run into rooms like that, you know. And yet, feel pretty safe. Yeah, see? <laughs> but that's okay, because, you know, I can just run back in and get the stuff. And obviously the lesson here is run back with it. Like if I want all those GCP. Of course the helmet paid for the entire run. So I could afford to be gambly. It's all about, you know, time versus money. Time being money. It's like space time. <laughs> space is time. Money is time. Fun thing about that idea, though, is that it makes all games pay to win. I mean, if time is money and you require time to win the game, then you're paying money to win the game. That has ramifications, you know? There's, there's fallout from that. Did you come from? You're a baby, huh? Screaming baby. It's funny, the rares will freak me out way more than the... Honey, what? What? Come over here. What do you want? I don't know what he wants. He just got everything refilled and dealt with. Like, I just did the batch of cat chores, you know? Meow, you're a baby. Hi there. Come here. Come here. You don't want over here? What are you doing? Is it just me talking? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Use your sand. Are you anxiety, baby? What are you doing? Guess I should have been opening boxes. Whoops. Oh well. Stack decks, that's an awesome consolation prize if fully linked Alks jewelry and additional div card. I need to price trinkets, but I don't know how. Like I can't just do it with the APT thing, which is such a pain. I know I'll just gamble them, so it's like gambling on a gamble.
I'm going to pause the recording and just buy a trinket. Did some price checking and tried to buy a good trinket, and this is nothing. Okay, so let's see. Item bases are worthless, like regular bases, because uh, poor eye level. And those enchants, you know, it's like tailoring orbs or like 30C or something. This is the better, it's the better deal. Assuming I get out alive, of course. No early escape on this map either. I gotta go the whole way. Holy crap, my character sucks versus Dot, especially Light Dot. I mean, that's like Mana Siphoner territory. That is like a death sentence for Dory Prototype. Which sucks. I mean, it's like not fair in my opinion. But you know, what can you do? Kinda glad it was just eight deck, you know? So I'm not gonna be like super sad if I die. seems heavier in blueprints, which is weird, because, I mean, it's the same eye level. Maybe it's this uh, tile set? Oh, I made it out. That's cool. Gambly goodness. Hey. Yeah, nice. Ice. Oh, you're a baby. You're a baby. It's pretty decent. Well, this blueprint really worked out. Good card and div. Hi there, how you doing? Surviving a lag spike is always a good sign. It's one of the many reasons uh, I think Dominating Blow has a lot of potential. Like it's got all the tags. It's got, it has both spell and attack tags. That's fun. Just built in. And, uh, It's minion two, you know, and it's a strike skill, so it's behead. I'm gonna try behead later, but I need to level it up first. Right now, I'm just using the straight damage uh, tags and stuff. Oh wow, Hikari. Minions are dying immediately. It's kind of crazy. That's what Vol Haste is for. I'm CI, so. This doesn't worry me. The Brits physical does. Oh, okay. That's not so bad. Minions, Dominating Blow is especially um, protective too because it has uh, 
you know, the minions themselves are meat walls. Alright, very carefully, just one. Nice, duplicated even. No perception here, so... And an escape route, so that's wonderful. Clear the way. The future. Yes, you're such a baby. You know you're a good baby and everyone loves you. Goodness. Scour. Oro, Veil. Winterheart, maybe. Ah. Best rolls. I don't know how much scourings are. 5C for that many. Mm. Attribute and physical on a crit. Eh. It has. Nobody wants. I'll take the aura. Ooh. That one went well. Dominating blow is all right. Thanks for watching.